Sizzle to be my guest. Huh? Alright, and we have Suarez right at the gate. Pushing Zero to None at the ledge. Set up for the Exodites and catching the neutral getup over here. Still Kuna at bay with the Nair. Still keep him right in disadvantage, but Zero Two is able to find himself back to the center. Starting again, stuff started on his own little percent on this stock. Yeah. Oh, hi guys, by the way, I'm here now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So we have another Yoshi stepping up, but there's a Yoshi of a different breed than Mile, as we just saw. Uh, for one, a little bit more on the patient side, I'd say, and looks to push advantage. Less so in those like tighter situations, but more macro-wise. Uh, also, I do... <laughs> Man, this, this match in particular, it's also very interesting because Zelda is so good at keeping characters out. Normally, Yoshi is good at rushdown, but with that Phantom, it occupies the exact aerial space he normally likes to be in. So, he actually does get shut out in the way that Zelda likes him to a lot of the time. Yeah, Suarez is really just going to have to try and get himself in there with the eggs. Nice, really wait out for that Phantom and uh, try to get himself going once again. And we see... Zero Two Nine getting pushed back to the ledge. Suarez in a prime position to be taking the stock right about now. No invincibility. Okay, yeah, he's recognizing that that also can be a bait. Oh, yep. that should be oh, it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh great DI. Hmm. That's still not enough. Wow, and Suarez kind chase. of having difficulty finding a way to actually end things here, but trapped in the corner. What was that? He just low profiled the forward tilt? Yeah, he's hitting with a good old crouch, getting that back air in, taking his I think that was his stop. dropping shield animation. I don't even know what that was. That was like a weird piece. I think he, maybe he angled Ooh. it upwards, but whatever. It is what it is here. And okay, so that's something is that uh, we're seeing. Oh man, I can't believe Zelda's up throw is a kill. Oh, oh great ridiculous. trap. Yeah, he got certainly trapped there. Sandwich between the Phantom and the down air. Not much you can do in that situation. Well, I mean, I, I think it, he could have air dodged directionally to the left or to the right, tried to get to the platforms, but that had its own inherent risk to it. So it was just kind of a not quite a checkmate situation, but definitely he was delaying the inevitable considering just how much pressure Zero to None was putting on at that point. Definitely a good old 70-30, but... Uh, we see uh, Suarez, not quite, but finding himself out, out of the ledge, starting the box, get him trapped in the Yoshi egg. There's yeah. Just to differentiate Suarez from Miles, another thing is that Suarez loves using that neutral B. He loves it. It's great. It can, oh my god, you're dead. That move is so freaking strong. Uh, I, thought, I thought he had a little bit more time before he was going to die, but nope. He's yeah, no, you gotta be careful, especially uh, Zero Two None has not done that all set, so Suarez basically was not expecting that whatsoever. Yeah, he has been expecting it properly at the corner, because that's one thing that uh, some Zeldas like to do. They, you know, will drop from the ledge and up air, and then you think they have no invincibility, so you're like, I will go and punish you. They hold down, they beefy up B, and the, uh, the, the hitbox upon reappearing kills super duper early, especially if it gets the reverse hit. Yeah, and we see Suarez still able to find that stock from Zero Two None. Uh, still a pretty even set right about now. Still trying to find that in from the Phantom, but uh, Zero Two None shaking him off with the Neru's love. Yeah. Okay. We're starting to see down air come out from Zero to None, which is normally that's like a call out if you think your opponents are going to be full hopping or like, you know, jumping into the air without an aerial, which Zelda definitely does like to do sometimes. But we're seeing Zero to None be generally a lot more grounded here. Oh! Yeah, he's trying to take his life with the Phantom. But uh, Suarez sniping him out with the egg, trying to end his life with the fair. So good at ledge over here, not getting sniped out by the lightning kick. Boxing in the egg. In a really good position to be taking out Zero to None right here, right now. Oh. But a quick Nero's Love will be shaking them off. Yeah, the Nero's Love, that invincibility comes out so early. That should be it, getting the forward air into the up air. Oh, that was so fast. That was so fast. And the reversal right there, you have to be... Man, Yoshi has probably one of the best disadvantage states in the entire game. Like, let's quickly run down everything he has at his disposal after he gets hit. Once he jumps... He has a frame one super armor on his double jump. Double he also jump. has a frame three neutral. He also has an egg lay, a command grab if he wants to do that on landing. He also has down B, which stalls him and throws out a hitbox. Uh, he also has the best aerial mobility in the game. Like, 
And as you saw right there, whenever he manages to hit you while from his own disadvantage, he can convert it instantly into a kill or at least massive amounts of damage. Yeah, Suarez really puts the threat to Yoshis out there. Always a household name in the Yoshi community. And in the heart of New York. We're seeing oh, yeah. Suarez taking the approach right there, getting those combos off the OTG. Still keeping him at the ledge and going for that up smash, taking a very early kill. Dang, that I, that looks like slightly suboptimal DI. I don't know if but I don't know if he could have survived that. Yeah, I know Serotonin was definitely sleeping at the wheel here, and it appears that he's still sleeping because Suarez is still getting his combo strings off, getting on that good good percent. I don't know if it's sleeping. At this point, it's being muffled with a pillow. <laughs> This is there's Suarez is taking an active role in putting this man to sleep, if you know what I mean. Yeah, here we go, chasing him out on the Phantom, but getting the reversal from the Uppy. Yeah, and that Uppy is also good because first of all, it's very fast. The first hit is insanely quick, but also you can sort of react if you're the Zelda to whether or not that first hit connected, and if it didn't, you can teleport all the way to the other side of the stage and get yourself out of the danger zone. And now Zero Two None finding himself in the danger zone right now, <laughs> getting taken out by that down smash. Unfortunate whiff on the grab. Yeah, well, he spot dodged. Oh. That was really like a intelligent spot dodge, recognizing that Zero Two None hasn't gone for too many grabs lately. But in the corner, that was his option, and scouted out beautifully. Yeah, look at that. It's just Zelda does not have the speed that if Yoshi just double jumps over her, just doesn't want to deal with it. She can't really do that much to catch up. Yep, really keeping Zero Team Nun in check right about now. Still trying to find in Zero Team Nun, uh, keeping Suarez juggled up in the air at the moment, but a quick grab gonna send him back to the corner. Oh, man. Okay, that is a thing that happens. If you're able to DI that first hit of the Zelda up B, the Furore's Wind, you can get away from that second hit unless they recognize that and change their trajectory, but that's very hard to do. And yeah, no oh, oh my god! Okay, remember how we did that in like the first stock of game one or whatever? That was like that plus plus. <laughs> Got it super sandwiched by the night. Oh my god. You know what the Twinkle Toes special? Suarez uh, still not phased by it whatsoever. Uh, still sitting in a really good position to be taken out this game or this potential set from yeah, uh, Zero Two None. Yeah, look, he's getting damage at the forward air. I think probably right about now, he's also back air is a really good option on the table. But zero to none, I think, I like the, yeah, like, I like the sending out quicker hitboxes. You know, Yoshi's jumping into the air, not really throwing anything out, looking for that back air, and that means that zero to none, he's been throwing out neutral layers, throwing out yeah, dash attacks. With all the Are you there kidding me? What Stealing percent was he? The 79. That move is deceptively strong. I mean, granted, it is a massive explosion, but still, Yoshi's heavy. Yoshi's not a light character. Yes, he's floaty, so he does die off the top a little bit easier, but I cannot believe he died right there. It, it appears that Zero Two Nun is a master at uh, stealing and closing out these sets, because as we saw in the Noku set, every time Noku had his number, but Zero Two came clapping with the lightning toes. And also, another thing worth noting, when that happens to you, if you're Suarez and you're like, I have this game down lock, I'm about to win this 2-0, and all of a sudden, your game gets stolen from you like that, even in game three, it's gonna be on his mind. He's, there will never be a moment where he's not nervous because he knows that robbery can happen in an instant. Oh, no jump. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that mental damage is already there, but you know, you never know, you can pull a Gatsby and just straight up go on the offensive. Yeah. Zero Two, something new to deal with on the table. All right. Yeah, I do like the fact that. Oh man. Uh, right now, Suarez trying to use Yoshi's aerial mobility to the most. You see, he's just going for these full hops, just jumping right over that phantom, getting behind it. So, yeah. I'm liking this adaptation. Let's see if it can take him to. Uh, really opening up zero to none now. And I'm really liking the small battlefield pick. We see it's working out a lot in Suarez's favor because he's able to just have a, he's a lot more aggressive, tighter approaches on him. Oh, yeah, the top. That forward air has such a big hitbox on top. Oh, if he had recognized that he absolutely could have gotten a forward air spike, but he was being a little bit too patient. But that patient pays off. He takes the stock anyway with a well-placed back air catching the ledge jump. 
Okay, finding his way from the ledge, escaping from the up B. <laughs> and that's oh, with the eye as well. I, I don't think he got the hang it sweet in. spot though. I but like that was fantastic, being able to recognize that he was going and reacting to that other direction. But cleaning up soon thereafter with a forward smash. Oh, but we, we know when Yoshi gets an up air at these lower percents, it can lead to just disgusting amounts of hurt yeah, Suarez on Suarez getting started. Very good uh, dominating lead from him right now. Very solid percent. Uh, forward smash? Looking for, yeah, ooh, oh, he was looking for that spot dodge. Almost found it, but uh, Zero Two found himself out of the scramble. Yeah, we're seeing Suarez starting to bait these approaches when Zero Two None wants to take the offensive right about now. And there we go. Forcing the shield on ledge, getting that command grab in. Yeah, but ends up getting reversal out of it. Oh, the downbeat's not enough to kill. Oh, that's 129%. We saw that like when Zelda has this much rage, even though Suarez is only well, he's at 68. If he gets up there here, he's 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 done so. We and already know. Lightning that. kicks are a danger to behold, but he gets crossed up and unfortunately gets checked back to the stage. Man, I, Suarez is being so careful using Yoshi's stalling options. But in the end, it doesn't matter. He can never find his way back to the stage. That up air taking things out. And now this is a little bit dangerous for him. Yeah, really oh, good frame oh. trap from Zero Two None. I saw he's really going out there for that edge guard. Really gunning for Zero Two stock right now. He should have gone out there even further. I'm pretty sure because he burned the directional air dodge, he could have just gone for follow through neutral air and killed him way off on the side. I think but he's trying to, you know, maybe his safety is kind of biting, coming back to bite him a little bit. We'll see, though. Oh, that'll get him off with the Nero's love. Suarez trying to box himself back in. I, go, I, dare. I don't agree with he's trying to land into zero to none now out of this advantage. It was working out so well for him before when he wasn't. Like, he was just running, drifting all the way to the other side of the stage, and zero to none couldn't catch him. And now, you know, when he gets hit, he's, like, trying to engage again as soon as he can. Suarez trying to pop him up to the skies again, trying to win that interaction against the Knight. There we go, you see the trade. Getting the egg, chasing him on the plat, pushing him to the corner. Really smart there. I don't think up there would have connected. Oh, oh Trying nice. to take out that shield, looking like a Skittle, and gets the oh. fair for the set. <laughs> and to explain why that worked, I mean, it could have been that he let go of the ledge, but this is just a little public service announcement for